There is no doubt that competitive Fortnite has been absolutely popping this past year. With FNCS, trios and squads, World Cup, constant cash cups and other tournaments, along with so much more. And pros like Mongrel, Benji and Booga have absolutely dominated competitive Fortnite in this time. Due to the growth and popularity of competitive and the high hopes we all have for its future, we thought it would be an interesting idea to count down 10 pros who we think will dominate competitive Fortnite in 2020. How is it going everyone? I'm your host Coco Loco. You can follow me on the Instagram at Coco Meddler. And in this video, we'll be counting down 10 insane players you need to watch out for in 2020. This list will be dedicated to competitive players, specifically who we think will dominate in major events in this upcoming year. It'll be super interesting to look back after this year and see how all these players performed. But real quick, before we get started, I've got a question for you. Are you looking to get better at Fortnite? If you said yes, then you need to check out ProGuides.com. On our website, we offer courses from some of the best pros like Mongrel and Benji, and we're creating new ones weekly, from advanced building and editing guides, to scrim courses, to controller courses, and so much more. On top of this, we have articles and guides to help you stay on top of the meta. Finally, we also offer 24-7 on-demand coaching from some of the best players. If you want to be the best, you've got to check out ProGuides.com. Last thing before we get into this amazing video, let's do today's question of the day. Today's question is, who do you think will be the best Fortnite player in 2020? Obviously, that's what this video is about, so I can't tell you what my answer is just yet. However, I'm really curious to see who you think will dominate in the Fortnite scene in 2020, so let me know in the comments. I am looking forward to grabbing some Cocoa Puffs, lounging back, and reading them. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started with our number 10 pick, which is none other than the controller legend, Wolfies! Wolfies has blown up onto the scene recently, with some insane performances in major events like DreamHack, the FNCS Season Finals, and his most notable placement yet, getting second place in the Duo World Cup. Woo! All this combined has resulted in Wolfies getting $1.1 million in earnings this year alone. Oh, I could buy so much Slurpee fish with that. And making him the top earner in the United Kingdom, even above people like Mongrel and Benji. And Wolfies hasn't slowed down recently either, getting second in the FNCS season finals, scoring his team 30,000 per person, placing consistently high in the Chapter 2 solo cash cups, and getting a 9th place and 4th place finish in the Winter Royale on the Europe region. Overall, Wolfies is an absolute beast of a player, and we really expect to see him more this year. With his consistently high solo and team placements, along with his constant improvement in practice, we can't see him going anywhere but up. Awoo! Good stuff, Wolfie. The second player on our list is Stretch from Team Liquid. Stretch has been blowing up lately due to his partnership with Booga, playing in Winter Royale together, and hanging out on stream together all the time. However, even though he's mostly known as Booga's duo, he set himself up pretty nicely on his own and seems to have a bright future ahead of him. Stretch has actually been a super consistent player since even the earliest in-game events, and has been mostly under the radar. He's gotten a bunch of placements like top 8 and 12 in the Scallywag Cup, 13th in the World Cup warm-up, 32nd in World Cup solo qualifiers, 38th in duos, 3rd in a trio cash cup, and 1st place in his trio season finals heat. Stretch has also showed up and performed in squads with consistent high finishes in the qualifier weeks and grabbing 1st players in the heat in the semi-finals. Overall, Stretch has been one of the most under the radar players since the earliest days of competitive, and with his insane placements recently, we really think he's going to move up in the rankings in Chapter 2 and become one of the top names in competitive Fortnite. Moving on to our number 8 spot, we've got the OG legend himself, Tifu. Tifu has fallen under the radar lately in terms of competitive after an unimpressive performance in the Solo World Cup Finals. However, he's earned his respect back as a competitive player with his performance in trios and squads, with well over 20k earned in trios and a top 7 finish in the NA East Grand Finals in squads. Honestly, Tifu is a really smart player and he's been involved in competitive for longer than most players have ever been playing the game. We feel like if Tifu continues to grind and practice competitive, he'll end up being one of the most dominant players in 2020. Don't be surprised if you start to see Tifu on the top of the leaderboards. You may have seen a new name on the Solo Cash Cup leaderboards, but if you haven't yet, 
let me introduce to you my pal, Kanata. Kanata has absolutely blown up onto the Fortnite scene with three first place finishes in the solo cash cups along with three more finishes inside the top three. He also placed duos with Clicks and Winner Royale and played with Tifu quite a bit during the squad's FMCS. However, even though he placed top seven in the FMCS squad's grand finals, the main area of success for Kanata is in his solos. He always seems to do the right thing at the right time. Honestly, with how much Kanata has blown up lately as not only a team player, but also a solo player, in a meta where almost nobody can consistently place high, we feel like Kanata has a bright future in competitive, and he'll definitely be one of the names you will see most in 2020. Mongrel is another OG player who's been on the scene for longer than most of us have even played the game. From his hilarious streams, to his insane placements, to his cracked out builds and edits, Mongrel is an all around insane player and content creator as well. Mongrel has been super successful lately, getting second place overall in the EU FNCS squad's finals, scoring himself and his squad a 120k to split amongst themselves. Woo! Alongside this, Mongrel absolutely stomped on everyone in trios with seven first place finishes in the trio qualifiers. On top of all this, Mongrel and Mitro did insane in the World Cup with the sixth place finish in duos and with Mongrel getting 13th in solos on his own. Overall, Mongrel is an absolutely monster of a player, both mentally and mechanically, and you should definitely be expecting him on the leaderboards here in 2020. In our number 5 spot, we've got none other than NRG Zayt. NRG Zayt is one of those players we've seen in competitive since the start, and he's been completely dominant the whole way through. From the earliest days of the summer skirmish and fall skirmish to today, where he's placing high in squads and continuing his legacy as one of the best Fortnite players to ever exist. Zayt has been dominating for as long as most of us can even remember, getting first place in Summer Skirmish Week 3, third in both days of Week 7, and consistently placing high in Fall Skirmish as well. He and his duo Saf also placed first at Cato Visa Royale 2019 and first place in the Scallywag Cup. Alongside this, Zayt placed fourth in the World Cup Duo Finals, scoring himself and Saf $1.5 million to split. Finally, Zayt placed fourth in the Grand Finals for Trios and his squad got first in their heat and fourth place in the Grand Finals. Overall, Zayt has been one of the most dominant players throughout the entire history of Fortnite, dating back to literally the first competitive events. On top of this, he's often regarded as one of the smartest players in the world and as the world's best IGL. If this doesn't impress you, I don't know what will. That's why Zayt deserves a spot on this list and we'll definitely expect to see him at the top this year. What is any Fortnite competitive related list without the man himself, the World Cup champ, Booga from Team Sentinels? Woo! Where do I even get started with this guy? I mean, he won $3 million at the Fortnite World Cup. What? There's literally no other player who can say that. However, it'd be a bit boring if we just mentioned World Cup, so we'll go a bit more in depth about everything since then. You would think after winning 3 million bucks, Booger would sort of just back off and retire from Fortnite, maybe chill on an island, maybe buy an island. I mean, it's $3 million. Most people don't even make that in a lifetime. Needless to say, Booga did not stop there. Oh boy, he did not. He continued into trios after a short break, playing with Clarity G and Stretch, who is also on this list, and absolutely dominated, getting first place in their heat. Then into Chapter 2, Booga began consistently placing in solo cash cups and shocking everyone with his solo play. Alongside his amazing solos, however, he continued to dominate squads, getting first place in the squad's heat once again. Finally, in Winter Royale, Booga and Stretch placed third in the one day that they actually took serious and brought home a nice stack of cash. Overall, Booga is pretty much in the history books as the best player of Fortnite Chapter 1, but it appears he's trying to grab that title again in Chapter 2. He's an absolutely crazy player, and we're excited to see how he does in the future. And Booga, if you want to buy me an island, dude, I am ready for it. Hit me up. Volks is actually a player from the Oceanic region, and he's one of the most underrated pros in the world right now. Volks has been around for a long time, with his first major placements being in the Blackheart and Lux Cups, getting second and third place respectively, and he quickly followed that up with a first place finish in the OCE World Cup warm-up. He also played in the Duo World Cup Finals with Parpy and continued to play second in the Heat and Trios. And then his squad got first place in both their Heat and the Grand Finals during squats. That's just crazy, getting first in both 
Finally, he also placed with his duo Parpy again in Winter Royale, getting two 7th place finishes and one 3rd place finish. Overall, Volks is a great player and we expect that he'll dominate the Oceanic region in 2020. He is well deserving of the number 3 spot on this list. Unknown Army, also known as the God of L2, has been easily the most dominant player in the NA East region during Chapter 2 thus far. With three first place finishes in the Cash Cups in one of the hardest regions, he's a great solo player for sure. However, he's also insanely good in team modes where he not only got first place in his squad's heat, but first place in the Grand Finals as well with his teammates Avery, Ronaldo, and Kez. While Unknown is most well known for his insane controller gameplay, he's also a dominant player on mouse and keyboard, getting fifth place in a Cash Cup on keyboard, which is honestly just crazy. Overall, Unknown is the most dominant NA East player right now, and we believe that we'll be seeing him a ton in 2020, and also that he'll be likely to be among the best players in the world this year. You're probably wondering, who could beat every other player on this entire list? Well, let me introduce to you the one and only Benjamin Franklin! Oh, Benji Fishy! Oh, Benji is one of the world's best players and made a name for himself qualifying for World Cup in both solos and duos within the first week of each. Another reason he blew up so much was his duo Mr. Savage, who at the time was blowing up like crazy as well. However, his reign did not end there, as he showed up in trios with a first place finish in his trios heat and again in squads, getting third in his squads heat and second in the EU Grand Finals with his squad of Mongrel, Wolfies, and Nate. Alongside this, he holds two first place solo cash cup finishes and he's overall been the most consistent player in solo tournaments these past few months, with almost every single cash cup run of his being in the top 10. That's pretty dang good. This consistency along with his clutch factor and long history of success in competitive Fortnite leads us to believe that Benji Fishy is the number one player in the world right now and we're expecting him to continue improving and to really show up in 2020. Also, if you want to learn some pro tips from Benji Fishy himself on the methods and tactics that he uses to improve and dominate in-game, be sure to head over to ProGuides.com where we collaborated with Benji to create an awesome course that you can watch and learn from. There were a ton of absolutely crazy players on this list, but we ultimately chose Benji Fishy as the number one player due to his consistency, plethora of high placements, and his overall confidence and mindset as a player. We feel everyone on this list is going to be hugely successful in 2020, and we're interested to see after 2020 how each of them stack up. Once again, for the question of the day, be sure to let us know who you think is going to dominate competitive in 2020. As for my answer, well, I've already told you. It is my boy Benji Frankie, baby, yes! I'm really looking forward to hearing what you all think and reading all your comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments down below who you think is going to be the top player in 2020. If you enjoyed the video, we'd appreciate it a bunch if you could drop us a like, subscribe, and maybe share the video with a few friends as well. Remember to tell us in the comments what you'd like to see next on the channel. We read all your comments and we'll consider every idea. Also, be sure to check out ProGuides.com for some more amazing exclusive content you won't find anywhere else including our exclusive course with the number one pick, Benji Fishy! Woo woo! Once again, it's been your host, Coco Loco. You can follow me on Instagram at Coco Meddler. Guys, regardless if you are a pro, if you're an amateur, wherever you are, just know that you are amazing, you are important. Whatever you set your mind to, you can accomplish if you practice. So keep going, stay positive, and I will see you guys later. Peace!